Good evening, folks, and welcome back to Future Unfolding. Love that screenshot counts as any button. Alright, so... We've got almost all of these, uh... Things taken care of. We've just got... The one in front of us, and then whatever's gonna go down in the middle. I don't know how long we're gonna be playing today, but we are ending the journey. So let's go. Blah. All right, so. Same routine as usual. Find our way to the big glowing thing that that will send us back here. Avoid wolves that look like lions, snakes that can send you into the void, and turtles that can send you into the void. Oh, that's interesting. I can move the rocks. That's new. Startable shelf. What is this game about? Saving the environment? I don't I don't rightly know, dude. All I know is it's we're having some funky fresh top-down adventures. There are creatures everywhere, some of them friendly, some of them less so. I think we're supposed to be restoring nature, but it's very weird about it. We've been getting, like, cryptic hints from other creatures. There's a lot going on, and the game doesn't really explain it. Off says nature is healing. <laughs> Here's some animals. A lot of animals can be interacted with. Uh, like these guys, you can ride across canyons. Um, there are rabbits, then they'll just sort of follow you around. Um, there are sheep that can teleport you. There are bushes that can teleport you. This is just back to the start. I don't want to come back here. What the heck? There are snakes that will open the void underneath you and toss you in it. There are massive turtles that will open black holes in the ground. There are bees that will threaten your life, but you can get past them by jumping into the water because they're bees. Fuff. I wish sheep could teleport me. Don't we all just want teleport sheep? Alright. <laughs> there are bushes that teleport you as well. There are bushes that will launch you into the air if you jump at them. You can solve environmental puzzles to various effects, like uh, this one here. We have some funny rocks. I touch the rock. I get a string. I channel the rock magic. Hang on, I might need to correct the rock. Correct? Connect the rocks back here. Fuff. Are we sure we want to save this nature? It's fine. Nature's just a little funny sometimes. Do I need... Okay, I guess not. Never mind, I don't need to connect the rocks in the back. Why did I say correct the rocks? 
I guess I try to say connect and rock at the same time. Fuff. Sir, you are not very good at being a rock. <laughs> Alright, since that didn't set off a reaction... Are we sure I don't need to connect these two? Because it's like not letting me- oh god. Void snakes. So if that touches me, I'll die, basically. Oh! There's- there's multiple. Okay. I think I might need to use them to get past these rocks. Yeah, I can see another rock I need to connect to. Okay, hey jerks. Come here. Come here. You gonna kill me? You better you better make it quick. You better take me out in one shot. So I stood in it and I died. But there is like a rock in there that I think I need. <sighs> do I have to do the whole dang thing over again? Cannot connect these. Or these. Fuff. They took that challenge. They really did. I should not taunt the wildlife. Ooh. Ho ho. Ho ho. Don't touch me. I'm just Sans Undertale trying to solve nature mysteries. Thank you! Ah, I gotta do the whole thing over again. It's tricky to navigate. Fuff. Okay, gotta kill you in one shot. They sure did listen to me. I didn't really want them to, but they sure did. Alright, uh, let's get back to that. I wanna see... Excuse me, sir. Okay, so... Gotta tell the deer we're good. We're bros. And now he'll jump some things with me. And then we say thank you, bud. And I was like, oh jeez, where do I go? Okay. Thank you. Yes, hang out with your friends. So you get three jumps on a deer and that's basically it. But that's okay. They are a little unpredictable though. They don't always go where you want them to. Like, I wanted to go over here and see if there's anything. But, you know. They're forest animals. They are only like, vaguely caring about what I'm doing. The flowers power up your sprint somehow, I think. Ooh, we got four jumps that time. Thank you. Yes, hang out with your friends again. Alright, you know what? That's honestly good enough for me. <laughs> Thank you. I think, like, the flowers let you sprint longer or something. I'm not 100% on that, though. Like I said, this game doesn't really explain anything. You can, you can find spooky triangles in the woods. And they can guide you to your next destination, so that's fun. Thank you. 
but you can also find your destination without them. There are also larger forest animals you can speak to for guidance. But you usually have to like find them at the end of caves or puzzles. And their uh, guidance is, is not very specific. Well, it looks like some of this stuff is permanently cleaned out, which is great for the puzzle. Not so much for me, maybe, though. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, okay. Y'all are gunning for me today, huh? Off. Be one with the tree, for its roots are what could become your future, kind of stuff. Things like this, yes. Or they'll, like, give backstory, but then, like, it doesn't actually help you solve anything. Searchable shelf. So what I'm getting from all this is that the game is extremely cryptic in a lot of areas. Extremely cryptic. Part of why I did not return to streaming it last week, on top of having a headache. It's like, that's not gonna help me. I'm just gonna be sad. I'm just gonna stress out because I don't know what the game wants for me. Ah, jeez, the snakes are back. Can you leave? Nobody invited you. At least they can't get rid of puzzle elements, that's nice. Snakes in video games be like, we will cause problems on purpose. It's like, nobody told you to do that. Why are you doing that? Okay, you're part of the puzzle. I see the shape. Don't touch me. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. What's happening? Okay, we're gonna chase this thing. Oh, a triangle. Sort of a shelf. It's witness two. It's a little more intuitive than witness. <laughs> Honestly. Foff. There once was a man. A deer, probably. So, get this. There's no other humans in the game, but the weird, like, godlike creatures are like, hmm, I've seen your kind before and I'm not impressed. But the ones causing problems are, like, the snakes and the bees and stuff. The snakes, the bees, and the wolves, specifically, I believe. Okay, so, um, every three triangles you find out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> every three triangles you, um, get a hint to the next big thing. And they carry over between levels, so... You know, that's good for me. Banshee is here! I made it! You did! Hello, welcome to nature. Jeez, they followed me into the woods. Why did they follow me into the woods? Ay! Get 
sketchy, but I just left nature. Okay, if I can squeeze through these trees, I can go this way. Okay, so we are heading in the right direction at least. A lot of this game is like searching for environment puzzles. But after the first level, which is the hardest for some reason. Hey, I manifested a bunny. Um, they tend to get a little easier as you figure out what the heck you're supposed to be doing. Such as connecting rocks. Or launching off of incredibly fluffy sheep. This this is this is the sheep interaction. So, sheep can teleport you, but sheep can also inflate in the water and become trampolines. Which is very cool of them. Look at this nonsense. Also, you can find caves. A lot of times caves will have like the blossoms inside that improve your sprint mysteriously. Like this. However, there was at least one cave with wolves in it, so you gotta be careful. Here's one of those god creatures. Let's see what cryptic message you have for us. This universe is ever expanding. Where you stand today is not the same space as it will be tomorrow. Even if the trees and lakes, the mountains and the shrubs seem to not have moved. This is the kind of thing they say all the time. They are not the same, you are not the same. The only certainty is uncertainty. Sometimes when you meet these creatures, they will give you uh, hints, but sometimes they just give you cryptic advice. Fuff. Imagine if he just said, hi, I'm Bob. Sir, that's very deep, but also it doesn't help at all, okay? This is what I'm talking about. This That's what the whole game is like. It's very cool and very pretty and very not actually telling you what's happening. I'm sure there are like inferences you can make from cutscenes and like the general gist of it is we're saving nature and some animals are evil for some reason. And chief off, excited to see each other in chat. Always adorable. You guys are so cute. I'm glad you're friends. Sortable shelf. I should probably mention this might be my last stream until I move to the new place. The good news is that we're moving in early July and not August, but that also means we need to speed up packing. At least halfway. Almost over. Well... <laughs> I'm glad that you guys have a more concrete deadline, but, uh, Godspeed. And, I mean, hopefully that means you'll get to come back to stream sooner, that'll be nice. Banshee. Hey, that's what I was doing all day, packing! Ooh. Okay, we've got some teleport sheep happening. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, they sent me down here, I guess. I don't know what I'm looking for. Shad, I'm here, quietly. It's good to see you. Hello. Okay, so you see that big white ball of pointy nonsense? That's that's the thing we want. Fuff. Wolves, bees, and snakes are some of the most mistreated animals by people, so I blame that. I forgot commas and now it sounds like a creature called wolf bees. <laughs> Startable shelf. When I'm settled at the new place, I'll be around more, hopefully, and I'm gonna finally get started on the next character I'm gonna draw in Frame Makers style. Nice! Looking forward to it. Okay, so we have these funny pink trees. Okay, this is another connect the dots. So we gotta find another one. I think. <laughs> Fuff. I want orb! I also want orb. Okay, so it looks like three. Come on. Connect, please. 
begging you. Oh my god. Please. Fine. I'll connect up here then. Unless there's a... No, I don't see a fourth one. Okay. It's just these two that don't want to behave. Please. Fuff. Hey, hey, it's technically Fuff Day. Happy Fuff Day! Fuff also says Bush. No, behave. Unless there's like a secret one down here. It's not looking like that's the case. Okay. Banshee says Fuff Day. It's Fuff Day. They have Fuff. Please connect, you stupid trees. Oh my god. Trees! Why are they like this today? Ugh. Fof. Fof day. It's just past midnight here, but close enough. Hey man, technically your birthday is your birthday, okay? I hope you enjoy your present when it eventually pops up. Fuff. Fuff. For my Fuff day, I would like the trees to be nice. Me too! <laughs> Connect, please, you dang trees. Come on. Oh my god. Ugh. Sortable shelf. I just realized my birthday is this Thursday. Totally forgot about it. Bro! <laughs> Foff says, June buddies. Can you connect a tree to a sheep? I somehow don't think so. Alright, well, let's slide down here, I guess. Maybe we can find the answers to our problems downstairs. Nope. There's a cave, though. Let's go to the cave. See if we can find yet another god creature that will confuse us. behind where we need to be. Fuff. It's not June, it's juice. Forgot my very good months. Yo oh god, it's me, Fuff. Can you tell me how to make trees work? Oh, there's a wolf down there. Do you see him? You might not see him, because he looks like a lion, but he's a wolf. He's taking a nap, though, so he's not gonna bother us. Sortable shelf. I blame the process of moving for making me forget my own birthday. Never move, unless you ask to. It sucks. <laughs> okay. Alright. Real quick, I'm gonna pop in here. See where this takes me. Oh! <gasps> Big boy. It is said that before this earth came into being, there was only a heaven above. One day the turtle fell from a hole in the sky into the primeval sea. 
From its depths, it brought a lump of mud. Thus was formed the ground on which we walk. I think it's like supposed to point out the locations of triangles. But what do I know? Foff says, no, no, we want an actual hint. All right, well, we figured out where that went. We got to meet a big kitty. Where do you go? Oh no! Trapped. puzzle. That's nonsense again. Wait, no, there's one up here, that's why. <laughs> oh, where's this going? Where's this going? I see some purple bunnies over there. You lied, sir. You said there were only heavens, but there also must have been the sea. Warning, you have angered a bitey pupper. It's going to my house. Yeah, this is my house. Your house is full of sheep? Okay, I don't know what's happening, but I have some sheep now, I guess. Cool, the sheep got tossed into the void. Great. That worked out splendidly. Hi bunnies, where are you going? Are you all also going to the sheep cave? I swear. One bunny left. Thanks. What is this? Where am I? Thanks, I think. Where did you go? There's nothing here. My dude. Hmm. Off. This is the last tree we need, isn't it? God, I hope not. That would be so painful and annoying that it's way over here. That doesn't make any sense. We'll try, though. I cannot carry strings that far, as it turns out. <laughs> Dumb. Fuff, how are we gonna move a tree? Oh, shut up. Stop that. Nobody cares, dude. Meet these snakes. Shut up. Be quiet. 
I'm in a bit of a pickle here now, though. I don't know how to get back over to the other side. If I can. Fuff, me and squid sharks. Buddy, thanks. Why are there so many snakes causing so many problems? Bunny friend, bunny friend, there's no way up. Do you know this? Why is this tree here all by itself? hang out here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. What I need is to get back over there, but how? The other side. one but it's gone now I guess oh okay there's a thing we're not totally screwed over we're good we're good it's fine it's fine here I am fully ready to believe that this game is going to like kill me just because it can 
It's like, haha, good luck, idiot. It's fine. We're back. Don't worry about it. A little concerned that the wolf just magically disappeared, but you know what? It's fine. Wolf lion thing. This game reminds me of Moon Hunters. I don't know why, because it's a completely different game. But. Okay, no, maybe we are screwed over, because I can no longer reach the trees. Let's unstuck. Okay, where did that put us? Up here. It's not where I want to be, though. I want to be on the other side. I want to be over there. Where the sheep are. Because I can't go back up those things. Banshee. The background music makes me think of that fox game. Fuff. I guess it's the same kind of mystery cryptic stuff. I think we have to go through a cave? Alright, so, uh, that cave on the right puts us in this cave on the left. That cave has a bunch of sheep in it, but I don't know what they do. <laughs> Unless they're supposed to let me teleport once they get outside. Watch that figure. Watch that end up being the case. God, okay. Because we did come through a cave, but uh, the thing is... Okay, so this is the cave we came through. And we met the big cat thing who's like, Let me tell you about the origin of the world. And then... See, we came down this slope to get here, but we cannot go up slopes. Only down. And I don't see anything that will like launch us back up down here. Fuff. Oh, I'm fooly. It is okay. It's cryptic and kind of frustrating and annoying. And that's... That is not your fault by any means. That's... That's future unfolding, being a weird indie game. <laughs> Fuff says, maybe guide sheep. Sheep save us. I'm gonna see if we've got to do something to the sheep. Sheep have magic powers, so it's our only lead. There. Hi, bird. Off. Sheep, please hit me. Alright. We've got a small selection of sheeps. Oh, <gasps> yes! Yay! The sheep sent us back home. It was sheep all along. Okay. Alright. Ideas, ideas. Now we're just back here. Okay. I've got a plan and it's real stupid. Let's go. <laughs> Fof says, can sheep teleport trees? I mean, they teleported that chunk of flowers. I'm pretty sure they can. Alright, so we gotta get the sheep the tree and then teleport the tree to the other trees I think maybe Fuff, are we gonna move a tree with sheep powers we sure are okay let's 
grab a few. Y'all don't need to sit in this cave. Also, I don't want the snakes to get mad at you. Okay. We got some sheep. Come with me, sheep. Okay. Ready, sheep? Yes! Oh, they teleported it away. Hey, stop touching it. <laughs> That's enough, thank you. Yes, yes, I love you, sheep. You're my friends. Alright. Fuff. We need a few sheep to help with the tree moving. Sheep, portal gun moments. Alright, now we have this warp. The sheep came with us. Thank you, guys. Very cool. I don't think they can follow us into the void where the other orbs are. Alright, thank you all very much for your service. I appreciate it. Let's go. Off. Sheep eternal. They're still pushing me. They're like, eh, eh, eh. All right. Oh, guys, they followed me. Okay, so uh, we gotta follow the shadows to find the uh thing to get us back into the void. Fuff. You hope they can't follow you. They did. That's the power of sheep, I guess. Oh. Boys! I'm sure this is supposed to be in like a poignant moment, but I have these dang sheep. I can't reach over there. Fuff, I'm sorry. Sorry, the sheep are permanently yours forever. I guess so. Whoa. Okay. I ran into the void, I guess. Ah, there it is. Picked up an orb. It's fine. All right. So that's everything except for this bad boy in the middle. The sheep are no longer here. I hope they enjoy um, orb land. All right, let's go. Excuse, why am I here? Okay. Off. I miss our sheep every day. Alright, I guess I'm here then. This is definitely a strange place. It's me again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fuff. Aw, oh, man, I bet one of the gods explained this. I bet they didn't. Not exactly their strong suit. Explaining things.
Will one of you talk to me, maybe? No? Y'all just gonna refuse? Gonna not say a dang old thing? Off. You know, that weird one who said something like, On your path, many use will form, and the secret code is 54224 for the reflections of life. Banshee, I'll talk to you. Thank you! I'm glad somebody is. Fuff, I'm slightly afraid. It's probably fine. Oh boy, a dead end. Do I get to sit here? Yay! Whee! Ah, oh, so bright. Ugh. Ow. Ooh. Ah! Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces past and I'm homebound. Dear. There's those darn wolves again. The bunny. Birds. The snakes who send you into the void. Sheep who can teleport behind you. Big old void turtle. So bright. So bright. There I am again. Fuff. It's the Kool-Aid man. No, nah, that's Pepsi man. mixed up. That's okay. What just happened? What happens if I hit resume? Am I still in here? Am I still in here? Fuff. Oh, that's it? I feel- I feel cheated vaguely. <laughs> if that's all there is at the end of this. Room full of clones that I can't even talk to. Fuff. Explain game, like, just a little. I don't think we're gonna get even that. It's like I refuse, actually. It's like, why? Off. Maybe. Don't sit down. I'll try not to. I'll try not to take a seat in this void. Alright, so it looks like it's the same dang place. Alright, I will avoid taking a seat. Nope, that's literally our only option. There is nothing else we can do but sit down. I guess. Fuff. Dang. Alright, well. <laughs> Run back! Okay. Will any of you talk to me? I'm not seeing any, like, alternate paths or anything. Hello? Pokemon Ranger! No? You're not a fan? Jerk. Fof says, just be like, nah. No thanks!
I did all that nature rescuing, and for what? To be tossed into the void? For the rest of my life? I don't know. I feel, I feel a little cheated there. I was hoping I'd get something out of it, but... No. I get nothing and I lose. Fuff. At least explain. Something. No. What happened? We, we go into the void and we get to meditate forever. Startable shelf. Bruh. Fuff. Why bees hate? Okay, so I, like, looked up the end? <laughs> Alright, I cannot click that at the moment. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently we're not allowed to do anything. Fuff. This is all anyone has to say. Interesting. What do you think it means? It means nothing! <laughs> Alright. Unstuck. That just puts us back at the start. <laughs> it's like, no, you live here now. Also, not super encouraging. Got an achievement that said the only way out is to finish the game. Fuff, I tried. You did. We all tried, and I think that's important. And what really matters. Well, says Fuff. Well, indeed. Ugh. Banshee, I didn't try. You tried in your own Banshee way, and that's what's really important. Alright, so, um, if I had a quarter for every indie game that I played that didn't have a real ending, I would have two quarters. It's not much, but it's a little weird to me that it's happened twice. Fuff, did it give you the achievement when you used Unstuck? No, I used it when I sat down the first time. It's like, this is the beating the game achievement. You're in the void forever. Off. The only other suggestion is to restart the world, Banshee. The ending is the friends we made along the way. If I run over this, I just automatically sit. Okay, can I at least skip this? There's so many flashing lights. No? Alright. I guess we get to watch whatever this mean again. Off. We didn't make any friends. Hey now, we made friends with some of the animals. <coughs> We're friends with the rabbits. We're friends with the sheep. <coughs> We're friends with the deer sometimes. The birds don't hate us. Um, we met several god creatures. Only the uh, wolf lions and the snakes and the bees don't like us. So we made friends. Off. You have to be enlightened. Do you not understand the very stuff that has happened? Not really, no. This game explained nothing. The future unfolding. I will not explain anything to you. Okay. That's fine. I didn't want a coherent narrative anyway. If I, if I keep attempting to figure out what the heck is going on, I'm just going to complain more. Fuff. Look at the snake. It's upside down. That means things. The, that human runs until he becomes an orb and then returns to the void. 
that means it is good to be round in the ground. You know what? That's <coughs> that's as much meaning as I think this game has to offer. So, uh, that was that was future unfolding. It's very pretty. It's very atmospheric. But I have no idea what it's trying to say. If it's trying to say things to me. If there is a message, it's getting lost in the fact that this game refuses to explain things. Definitely cool to like sit in and vibe though. I don't have anything else to say. Thank you all for coming. If you guys enjoyed whatever the heck that just was, uh, please consider donating to my Patreon if you can. There's a Robo Cat shaped button underneath the streaming window. If you cannot see it, try stretching your browser window out a bit as it does like to hide. One dollar a month will get you access to stream related art before it goes up on other social media. Five dollars a month will let you vote on what I draw. And ten dollars a month will give you access to Photoshop files if process is your kind of thing. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you had a good time. Even if they didn't explain anything that was happening. I hope you have a good rest of your evenings. And I hope you are all staying safe and taking care of yourselves. Good night, folks. See you next week for something new that's hopefully a little more coherent. Good night!